So if you have negative people on the team, obviously you do have a challenge because they can infect other people. You know, negativity can be very infective. So um, you have to do something about it. The possibly the best thing to do is instead of always concentrating on what they are either complaining about or being negative about, try and focus on what they do well and concentrate on that. You know, just be aware of things that they do, um, whatever it, it could be the smallest, simplest thing, and then compliment them on that or congratulate them on that or say that was well done. I liked the way you did that particular job. You know, rather than um, spend too much time trying to deal with the negative things that they're saying or the um, or the moans and the complaints and so on. Some, sometimes um, you'll find that people, it's a need for acknowledgement with a lot of people that they will often do that to get your attention. And other people, well, they, you know, they really give cause for concern because they probably, they see all the bad problems, they see all the, all the negative things, um, most of my um, management time was spent with salespeople. So you have salespeople who say, well, we can't sell this product because there's not enough advertising of the product, um, or the customers think it's too expensive. And they're, they're looking, it's the old you know, story about is that is the glass half empty or is it half full? You know, these people are obviously seeing it as always half empty. So the the thing is, you obviously have to make a decision that one, are you going to work with these people and are you going to try and, and make some changes? And that really always has to be the first way to go. It's not um, always possible or, or practical to you know, dismiss people or get rid of people. So the best thing to do is to um, listen to what they have to say. Some, sometimes you can empathise with what they've got to say. You can say, yes, I understand your concerns and I appreciate what you're saying. So when they maybe start to realise that um, their moans and complaints are maybe only meeting with some empathy from you and not much else, uh, then they maybe start to realise that uh, maybe it's far better to do the positive things than the negative things. But as I say, there, there are always people that will moan and complain. You have to make a decision as to whether they are infecting your team and giving you too many problems. If they are, then maybe you have to find them another job within the company if that's possible or maybe encourage them to find another another career somewhere else. Um, it is a challenge, it is difficult, but there are you know many negative people in the world. Um, the trick is of course is that when you employ people make sure you um, employ the people that uh, are more positive.